Want to live the cinema of tomorrow? Well, our next guest is giving an immersive experience by providing motion and vibration feedback for games and home theater settings. Very realistic and very cool. He's the lead software engineer for D-Box, Jean-Francois Minard. Is that uh, close? That's correct. How are you, sir? Very good, thank you. Good. Glad to have you with us. First of all, what are you guys showing here at your booth? No doubt at the Game Developers Conference, somewhat game-related. <laughs> yes, yes. In fact, we're showing our latest uh, motion platforms that we integrate with uh, games. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, uh, it's, a, it's a seat that has uh, electric motors built into it which allows to feel for uh, motion feedback and vibration feedback. So basically all this uh, system allows you to feel uh, for, let's say for a racing game, you can feel uh, the car acceleration, the g-forces, you can feel the suspension travel, you can feel uh, the, 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 the tire skidding, yeah. uh, the engine revs, so it, it really puts you into the game and you get to, f to, to to have some feedback other than the, the visual and the, the sound. And a whole lot more than just putting a couple of vibrating motors in the back of a chair or something like that, because as you mentioned, the whole you feel uh, kind of the shock absorber uh, effect as well because you've got the legs move and are on little devices that I guess are motor driven, right? Uh, that as things are happening, you're feeling it, you're moving, you're, you're leaning, you're doing all the various things. And of course, racing games got to be one of the most appropriate and intentionally mind you i crashed into walls just to see intentionally just <laughs> <laughs> just to see what it felt like and this chair is like oh you are you know that you just pounded into the wall or hit a speed bump or did any number of things you do feel it it's very effective yes and you you feel also when you're bumped uh, in the rear you actually know that oh someone i, I lose control because someone bumped yeah. me you get whiplash without the medical problem <laughs> <laughs> right, right, and and when you're you're taking a curve, you actually get to feel when the tire are losing grip, so you can compensate for your driving. So it actually gives you uh, more information, also from yeah. Your I felt experience. like I was actually sliding on the grass, as if it was wet grass versus the pavement. I mean, you That's could right. tell the difference. And exactly. Now, now, how do you guys do all of that? Do you actually go frame by frame in a game, for example, and and say now when this happens, do this and and that kind of thing? No, we we do this. Uh, what you described, we do this for the movies, but for the game, we must go real time. So we, we put a plug in in the games to get the physics from the physics engine of the game. So we get the, the, the most accurate uh, response from the game, and we translate this into motion, vibration, rules, and effects to, to recreate the, the reality of the, the, the vibration and the motion that the user would experiment. It's very cool. Now, no doubt it works best, I'm guessing, uh, with racing games because you're in a chair, you've got a wheel, and, and you've got pedals, and you know brake pedals and shifts, and, 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 of course, accelerator. What other games, though, might you sit in a chair like this D-Box chair and feel similar uh, game play? Yeah, we try to ex extend the motion experience to any kind of game. Uh, we've been showcasing a, a first-person shooter. Uh, so in, in this uh, realistic environment, you can uh, walk around, feel the recoil of guns. Uh, you feel the grenades and the explosion as really you have shocking. Kind of a percussion feeling. Yeah, yeah. And uh, when you go into vehicles, also like a tank, you feel the, the roughness of the tank and, and the, 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 the shocks of the of the, the firing and, and the helicopter, you'll feel the blades uh, uh, running and, and, and all the motion. Vibration around. as you yeah. would in a helicopter. Yeah, right? yeah. Very cool. Now, do these games have to be kind of D-Box compatible or something? Or how do you know uh, if you've invested in one of your chairs that you're getting the right games? Yeah, in fact, uh, to get content for uh, our motion platform, we've signed agreements with major in the gaming industry. We can name Electronic Arts, Codemasters, Crytek. So uh, uh, new games are coming in uh, each month. So uh, this this will allow us to always uh, be up to date. And, and we have a, a bunch of games, actually. We started first with uh, uh, more simulation uh, softwares like uh, uh, racing simulation, flying simulation, the, all the flight simulators, we have them. And now we are extending this to uh, the, the more gamer experience like uh, 
uh, arcade games, uh, racing games, shooting games, and, and such. So rather than maybe just dozens of games, we're talking hundreds of games. It That's the goal. Like. That's the goal. Yeah, in the long run. Are these chairs available now? Uh, the, the one you sat in is a, a new prototype that's aimed for the gamer. Uh, previously, our systems were uh, sold at $11,000, so it was uh, a luxury uh, hmm. system. For more of a high-end home theater kind of thing. Yes, even. Yeah. but uh, now this new system will be av available at the end of May, and it's uh, target to be priced starting at uh, 2995 so we hope to... Uh, reach uh, many uh, enthusiastic uh, yeah. gamers with and that's uh, a dramatic price decrease and yet not giving up features you're still doing all the cool things yeah yeah very good you want to check them out at d-box.com does d stand for anything in particular <laughs> not really not really okay <laughs> well, i figured i have to ask there's <laughs> got to be a connection somewhere maybe it was the uh, the founder's name dave <laughs> so think of that d-box.com for more jean francois thanks for spending a couple of minutes with us here at, G at gdc thank you very much our pleasure back with more as into tomorrow continues i'm dave graveline this is into tomorrow on the advanced media network